Everybody, Jameson with another level inspections uh, at inspectingyourhome.com talking about high loops. So you have your dishwasher right here and your dishwasher drain. And um, in some cases, what you'll see is the dishwasher drain will come up and go right into the, the garbage disposal. And uh, that's not the best way to install it. The best way is how it's installed here, which is the uh, the dishwasher drain comes into the cabinet, goes up here as high as possible, and almost touches the underside of the countertop. And then from there, it dips back down and goes into the garbage disposal. So this is how we like to see dishwasher drains installed. And essentially what this is doing is if there was a clog in the waistline and the wastewater started to back up, the first place we'd like for it to back up is actually the sink rather than dishwasher. That way someone can see it, uh, hopefully resolve the problem. Um, but this extra bit of pipe going up above the point of the base of the sink allows that to happen. So any backups will go into the sink rather than into the dishwasher uh, initially. Um, the only other way of doing this is to add a uh, an air gap, which is... It's an actual device that the drain hooks into and it's installed on top of the countertop and it actually separates the waste pipe. So there's no way for it to back up into the dishwasher. Um, those, you know, uh, are required in some areas, but not very common around here. Uh, they're a bit overkill. Uh, this seems to do the job pretty well. And this is what we see installed in most homes. So. This is a high loop for a dishwasher drain, and this one is installed properly. Thank you.